Ukraine officials now say Russian forces have fired several missile strikes into the port city of Odessa, killing at least one person. This comes as Ukraine's national police chief tells ABC News that his officers are currently investigating more than 10,000 cases of alleged war crimes in areas previously occupied by Russian forces. ABC News foreign correspondent Tom Sufi Burridge joins me live now from Kyiv. Tom, where does this investigation stand right now? Any talks of possible charges? Diane, this investigation is at an early stage. They're gathering evidence. They're identifying bodies. I think charging people is the ultimate aim for the Ukrainian police. They want to not only charge the individual Russian soldiers who committed these crimes, but also the, the top brass that gave the orders. But getting someone into a court of law, possibly an international court, that's a much, much harder thing. And I'll give you an example. Take the civilian airliner MH17, which was shot down over eastern Ukraine in the summer of 2014. There was a massive international investigation. They identified the Russian-backed separatist soldiers who fired the missiles. They determined that they were Russian-supplied surface-to-air missiles, but no one was ever tried in an international court. There was a, a, a court process in in the Netherlands because lots of people on that plane were from the Netherlands but those people those the, the culprits courtroom and Tom in the Kiev region alone police say that they have so far recovered more than 1200 bodies of civilians who were killed how are they working to identify them and how long is that expected to take it's a really complicated process. There are still, uh, as things stand, 258 bodies recovered in this region, which have still not been identified. So they're taking DNA samples from the bodies, possibly DNA samples from relatives. Uh, they then have to identify the DNA. Some of the bodies, though, in the meantime, are actually being buried because they've got so many bodies, they can't really safely keep them in the morgues in that area. And it basically, it's a very morbid and long process. And, and, and once people's bodies are identified, they've got help from French police officers who are here in Ukraine to set that process up. They've got better technology to make the DNA identification process quicker. Then people are given a, a proper burial. It's a very morbid process. It sure is. And, and Tom, what are you hearing about these missile strikes in Odessa? Any updates? Yeah, well, Odessa is really uh, taking quite a few uh, missile strikes uh, from the Russians uh, in the last few days. Overnight, uh, several missile strikes on that city and that region, a key port city in the southwest of Ukraine, remember. Uh, one uh, missile strike on a shopping center. In total, one person killed, uh, around six injured. Uh, we've also uh, had a, a big piece of news from Izium. It's a town up in the northeast of Ukraine, near Kharkiv, the second biggest city uh, in this country. There, the authorities, the Ukrainian authorities, have recovered more than 40 bodies uh, from the rubble of a building. The bodies have been left there since March uh, when the Russians controlled that particular area. And that's just another graphic illustration of the cost of this invasion to the Ukrainian people. All right, Tom Sufi Burridge in Kyiv, Ukraine for us. Tom, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.